And today we're going to be going through step by step on how you could build a nice modern website for your church for free from scratch. So I want to encourage you to go ahead and get comfortable. It's going to be good. Pull out a note pen, pull out a pad. Uh, we're going to go through step by step on how you can build a modern, nice modern website for your church. And it's going to be good. Let me see if I can give you the um, the the end desire of what we're looking for. Let me give me one second. Hold on one second. Boom. A church website. And then we're going to go to dot com. Boom. OK, I think this is it. All right, here we go. This is going to be our goal right here. We're going to try to build this for free. Come on, somebody. What do you think about that? Building a nice website like that for free. And we've come a long ways, huh? This used to be the first website. Now we've upgraded. I've learned a lot. Okay, so let me go ahead and close this. And we're going to keep this as our, um, what do you call it? As our desired end. That's going to be our vision right there. <laughs> come on, somebody. So are you comfortable? Ready to roll? First thing I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and go to my website, PastorDre.com. See that right there? Let's go ahead and go to PastorDre.com. Let me refresh this for you. Okay. And once you get to PastorDre.com, I want you to click where it says free website. See right here? I want you to go ahead and click that. Okay. Once you click free website, it's going to take you to a page that looks just like this. At this point, what I want you to do is decide on a domain name for your website. For example, a domain name is yahoo.com, google.com, facebook.com, theonfirechurch.com. That's a domain name. That's basically where people are going to find you on the Internet. Now, keep in mind, this is a free website, so you will be setting up a subdomain. So your domain might be the onfirechurch.siterubix.com. So there's going to have that dot site rubics because that's the place that's going to be hosting your website for free. If you want to get your own domain, you do need to pay. And the price is about $15 a year, maybe 250 Rand if you're in South Africa a year. So that's not bad. But we're going to I'm going to go for a free website. OK, so I'm going to show you how to do everything for free and we're going to get started. So just keep in mind, it will be a subdomain. All right. So it's better to have a free website than not one at all. If you are a church, you need a website nowadays. We all know what's taking place as far as churches not being able to meet in their buildings or they're limited to capacity. So if you don't have a website nowadays, it's like your church doesn't have a building. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and say, let me just call this my cool website. You can name it whatever you want. Like I said, you you can name it or you can name it uh, your, the name of your church, the name of your business, the name of your ministry. For example, if you are the Radical Church, you can type here the Radical Church dot site rubics dot com. OK, so I'm, my case, I'm going to put my cool church. How about that? My cool church. And then you need to see if it's available. If it's available, it's going to say available here. All right. So now I would have a domain that says mycoolchurch.siterubix.com. So if anybody wanted to visit my website, that's where they would go. So once your domain is available, I want you to click build my free website. OK, once you click that, it's going to take you to a page that looks just like this. I want you to go ahead and enter your email address right here. Enter your name right here. Choose a username and then choose a password. Now, the reason you need to fill this out is because you are actually signing up to a community. And this community is rocking. And I'm going to show you how to get the free membership of this community. There is a paid membership, which offers a lot of stuff, but that's up to you. What I'm going to show you is how you can do everything for free. So that's why it's asking for your email, your name. You need to choose your username and a password. It's kind of like a Facebook community, but for those that like to build websites and get more traffic to your website. So not only is it a community, but it's like also it has online courses that teaches you how to build, um, how to how to like get traffic to your website. And when and when you sign up for the uh, actual premium membership, it teaches you 
all kinds of stuff. You get 24 seven chat. You can uh, get video, step-by-step videos on how to build a website, how to get traffic to your website. It gives you 20 websites that you can host included all in the premium membership. And that's $49 a month. But what, like I said, there's free membership and then there's paid. I'm going to show you how to do everything with the free membership. And the cool thing is when you join, they give me a little commission because I am an affiliate. Okay. All right. So once you fill in this information, I'm going to go ahead and log into my account because I'm a member. It's going to give you a page that looks just like this. Once you, once you log in, you're going to get a page that looks just like this one. So what I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and click free domain. We're going to build a website. It says, what kind of website do you want to build? You want to build one off of a free domain. And then once again, choose a domain name for your website. You already found out that my cool website is available. So I'm going to choose that my cool website or my cool church. I think it was awesome. It's available. All right. And then I'm going to enter a title for my website. I'm going to say my cool church website. Once again, you put the title of your church or whatever you would like to put. Okay. And then here I'm going to choose this theme here. You only have one. I have several because I am a premium member, but you're only going to have one. So let's go ahead and choose that theme there, which is called Generate Press. And then I want you to click Build My Free Website. Let's go. The fun's about to start. It's going to take about maybe 10, 20 seconds to set everything up for you. It is actually setting up a website for you right now. So once this is done, you could actually go to my cool or my cool church .com and your website is live. So whatever you chose for your domain name, when this is done installing, you are all the way live. So let's let it do what it has to do. All right, there it is. I'm going to go ahead and click log in now. And I'm going to log into the dashboard of my website. And that's where you're going to log in. So this is what you call the dashboard. And this is where all the fun takes place. Come on, somebody. All right. So let's get started. Here's our goal. This is our goal. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so far, we have, let me go ahead and visit our website. In order to visit your existing website, you just click where it says My Cool Church Website, where it says Visit Site. You just go to click that. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And this is how our website looks right now. It is live. As you can see here, the domain, mycoolchurch.siterubix.com is all the way live. All right. So how do we get it to look like this? First thing we want to do, you go back to your dashboard. Okay. So let me just make this clear. I'm going to close this. All right. So this is our dashboard. This is our existing website, how it looks, and this is our goal, okay? So let's go. All right, first thing you wanna do is when you're in your dashboard, I want you to go here where it says settings. I want you to click right there. Okay, let's make sure everything is good here. You can change your tagline to my, whatever the name of your church is. Say for example, the On Fire Church, the place where God is moving. So this could be your site title, My Cool Church website, the place where God is moving. Okay, so you could put anything for your tagline. So I'm going to put the place where we have church. I'm going to say that. You could put whatever you want. We have church. Okay, and then let's go ahead. Did I spell church right? Yes. Okay, let's go ahead and click uh, save, save changes. Next, I want you to go to settings and I want you to click writing. I want you to do me a favor. Go ahead and click where it says block editor. Click that. Where it says allow users to switch editors. Click yes. Tick yes. And then click save changes. Okay. All right. Next thing I want you to do is I want you to go where it says appearance. Customize. And then I want you to go where it says site identity click there and i want you to tick where it says hide site title and hide site tagline go ahead and tick that and click publish okay all right go ahead and close that by clicking the x here should take you back to your dashboard next thing i want you to do is i want you to go back to your website how how it looks now and click the refresh this is this arrow here click that 
Now it's showing you how your website looks right now. All right, we're getting there. All right, this website is our goal. It has one, two, three, four, five, six pages. So what I want you to do now is go back to your dashboard. I want you to go to pages. I want you to go ahead and delete where it says sample page. Go ahead and trash that. Okay. Then where it says add new, we're going to start adding pages. So I want you to click add new. First page we're going to add is our home page. So I want you to go ahead and you can click the X there. Where it says add title, just type in the word home. And then I want you to click publish. And then click publish again. All right, go back, click the back arrow, click add new. And then what I want you to do is I want you to type in the next page we're going to set up, which is live webcast. So go back here, site where it says add title, type in live webcast. And click publish and click publish. All right, click the back arrow, click add new. Then we're going to type in blog. So once it pops up and it's going to ask you for uh, add title, I want you to type in blog. And I want you to go ahead and click publish. Publish again. Okay, go ahead and click the back arrow. Let's go ahead and refresh by clicking this and your pages should be updated. All right, let's find out the next page. We got small groups. Go back to dashboard. Click add new. After you click add new, what I, I want you to go ahead and type in small groups where it says add title, small groups, and then select publish, click publish again. <clears throat> okay, we're going to do this for two more pages. So go ahead and once you cut, once you add your small groups, go ahead and click the back arrow, click add new. And then the next page we're going to add is the podcast page. So once it's done loading, where it says add title, I want you to type in podcast. And then I want you to click publish, click publish again. And we're going to add one more page. Click the back arrow, click add new. And I want you to go ahead and type in the word contact us. So we're going to where it says add title, you click there, then you type in contact us us and you click publish and publish again okay go ahead and click the back arrow let's refresh by clicking this button here and all of our pages should be there you want to keep the privacy policy one go ahead and keep that page all right so now when we go here to our existing website and we click refresh we should see our pages added all right pretty cool right So we're getting there. We've got our pages here. So, but if you notice, it says home, live webcast, blog, small groups, podcast, contact us. This one says home, live webcast, blog, small groups, podcast, contact us. If you ever want to change the order of your pages, you just go to appearance, menu. Okay. And then what you do is you just, these, this is your menu right here. You click and drag and it'll change the order. See that? So we're going to change the order of our menu right here. So we want to go home. Then we're going to click and bring up live webcast. Make it sure it's all the way to the left. If it's to the right, it'll be a sub menu. You don't want that. You want to bring it all the way to the left. Okay, so let's go home, live webcast. And what's the other order? Blog, small groups. So we're going to go get blog. That's already there. Small groups. We're going to bring that up to the left there. And then we got podcast so let's grab podcast bring that up bring it up after small groups to the left all the way to the left and then we got contact us so let's get contact us and bring that all the way to the left now you notice you have two home pages what i want you to do is go ahead and click create menu okay then what i want you to do is here I, we're going to delete this one okay let me see, make sure I delete the right one here. Boom. Okay, yeah. 
So let's go ahead and let me refresh it just to make sure. One second. If I click here, let me just, that's the home page. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this. You want to delete the one here, not the one that says custom link. Okay. So let's go ahead and click save menu. All right. And then I'm going to click primary menu and then click save menu again. Now watch this. When I click refresh, there's our menu. So if I click any of these, it's going to take us to that page. Blog, small groups, then it goes to the home page. Okay, now, what we're going to do is we're going to change our home page now to a website. Right now, it's a blog, but we're going to change it to a website. So the way you do that is we're going to go out of your section here and go back to where it says dashboard. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is I want you to go where it says settings. You click there. I'm sorry, not settings, reading. I want you to click where it says reading. Go up right here where it says a static page. I want you to click that. Go to where it says select. Click on there and select home. Then for post page, I want you to go where it says select. Select that and click blog. And then I want you to click save changes. Okay, now when you refresh your website, you are taken to a home page and not a blog page. Come on, give yourself a hand. We are making progress. Remember, our goal is to get it to look like this. We're getting there. All right, the next thing you want to do, we want to add this image. Or let's change the color of this. Let's change that to blue. Right now, it's black. So how do we change that? We're going to go to Appearance. And then you could click Customize over here, or you could click Customize over here, whatever, whatever you like to do. Okay, so once you click Customize, it's going to give you the option to make some changes. So I want you to go where it says Colors. Scroll down. And see where it says Navigation Color Presets? Click that, and I want you to click blue. See, I changed it to blue, and then you just click publish. Okay, so now when we go back and we, we, we refresh our website, it's actually going to be blue. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to add this image. When you do that, it's just going to hit the X right here. And then we're going to go to appearance and we're going to go to pages. And we're going to work on our home page. So whatever page you work on, you want to edit that in your block editor. So let's go ahead and click edit with block editor. Okay. Your page is going to load up. Then what I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and click where this eye right here, go ahead and click that. That's going to make that home disappear which we don't want. I don't like it. You could leave it if you want, but I like it where without the writing. So let me go ahead and uh, re update. I'll show you what happens when you click the eye to make the home disappear. Right now there's home, right? If I refresh it, when I click the eye, it makes the home disappear. I like that better. And we're also going to get rid of this over here. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. The way you get rid of that side panel, that side bar is you go to the home, you're on your home page. See where it says sidebars? You click there. And then see where it says content, no sidebars? Click that. And then I want you to click update. So now you go back to your website, click refresh. It gives you just a page, right? Just like this one. This one has no sidebars. All right, we're making progress. So now our goal, we want to add this image. So how do you do that? Okay, see this plus? I want you to click there. And then I want you to type in the word cover, C-O-V-E-R, and select this box right here. Okay, now I already have images on my computer. If you have a graphic designer or an image that you would like to put of your church, maybe worshiping, you can do that. You know, you get your graphic designer to design it for you in a JPEG format, JPG, and then you upload it to your hard drive. 
So I already have my image uploaded, so I'm going to go get it. So I'm going to click Upload right here, okay? And here's my images. So I'm going to select this image right here. Then I'm going to click Open, okay? And then it's going to take a little while to upload because it's a big image. And so I'm going to go ahead and click Update. Let's give it a little time. It's actually uploading. And if when you do get an image, Try not to make it too big. Uh, I just mine is big for the sake of this tutorial. But if I was to actually put the image, I would make sure it's not such a big size because it slows down your website. But just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm uploading this image. Okay. So now here's our image. So we click update. Now we're going to go over here and we're going to click refresh. Our image should show up. There it is. But if you notice, it's not going the whole width of the website. It's cut off. It's only in the middle. How do you fix that? You want to scroll down you want to click up here at the top you want this these uh options to show up you scroll down see where it says layout click make sure you have that selected okay and then where it says where are we at here page builder container click that and it's going to say default full width or contained i want you to click full width and then click update then go back over here click refresh on your existing website and there you go it spreads all the way to the to the left and to the right so we're getting there How do we put this typing on here? Okay, what you want to do, see where it says right title? You click there. And once again, we are the cool church. So I'm going to type the cool church. And then I'm going to click update. And then I'm going to click refresh. And there you go. There it is. All right. And then I'm going to say tune into our live webcast every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. To do that, I just go after the church where it says church and then click enter. It's going to give me an opportunity to make another line. So I'm going to click the plus and I'm going to click paragraph. And then I'm going to start typing. Join, oops, join us every Sunday morning for our live webcast at 9 a.m. Okay. Now to center it, I click, you see these lines right here? You click there and you click align text center and it centers it. Then you click update. Okay, let's go to our website. Let's refresh. There you go. Now to add the button, how do we do that? We're going to go to the end of the 9 a.m. Click enter. You're going to get a little plus that shows up. Click the plus and I want you to type in the word button. Okay, and then select button. There's your button right there. I want you to uh, we'll type whatever you want. I'm going to say watch now. Okay, this is for our live webcast. Okay, and then I'm going to click the button. Okay. And then you want this square to show up. See these lines? Click the line and click align center. It puts your button in the center. Now I'm going to click the button. Scroll over here where it says color settings. I'm going to click that. And the text color, I want it to be white. The button color, I want it to be yellow. So I'm going to select that. Okay, and then you click update. So now we are making progress. So let's go ahead and click refresh. It's pretty cool. We're pretty close to this one, right? The only difference is this watch live is bold. And ours says watch now. So let's bold it. Let's bold it. You highlight the text and you click the B. And you click update. So now when you refresh, it's going to be a little bit bolder. There you go. Similar to that one. Okay. All right. Good stuff. We're making progress. If you have any questions, you can email me, Pastor Dre at PastorDre.com, and I'll try to help you out. Okay.
let's go ahead and um, see what we got to do next. Next is they have some typing here. Welcome to the On Fire Church. So how do we add that? All right, let's go back to our dashboard. Make sure you update. Always want to update. Make sure you're safe, your changes are saved. Let's click the arrow, and we're going to go back to our dashboard. Okay, now we're going to go to our homepage. Click Edit with Block Editor. Okay, and we're going to add this typing. Welcome to the On Fire Church, but we're going to type Welcome to the Cool Church. And one more thing I noticed is uh, you could also bold where it says the On Fire Church or the Cool Church. You can bold that too. Like if you want it to stand out, let me show you. If I highlight it and I bold it, let me do it real quick. Highlight it and bold it. It'll stand out more. You can also uh, change the size of the font if you go over here. And you can make it bigger by clicking the arrow. See that? Like, let's make it 45 so it stands out. And you update. Click refresh. It's going to stand out a little bit more like that. Okay? All right. So let's go back. Now we're going to add this type in here. Welcome to the On Fire Church. So you go back and then see where this plus is down here? You click that. And then you want you to click paragraph. And then you just start typing. Well, well. Welcome to our, in our case, we're going to put welcome to the cool church. You can put whatever you want. I should say in my case, I'm going to put welcome to the cool church. Whatever the name of your church is, whatever you want to put, you could type whatever you want. Okay. So I'm going to say welcome to the cool church. Boom. All right. And then I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to bold it. I'm going to select these lines here and I'm going to put a line text center. Then I'm going to go over here, see this little image, this little thing, click that and click where it says heading. And I'm going to click where it says H2, but I'm going to click H1. OK, and then I'm going to click here and click align text center. OK, and then I'm going to click update. So now when I go refresh, we should have some typing. Oh, that looks nice. That looks really nice. OK, all right. Now we want to do. The On Fire Church has a mission to spread the gospel to this generation. So we're going to add our typing. The way you do it is you go to the plus, type paragraph, and we're going to say, let me see, welcome to the cool church, the church that is on fire for God. Like I said, you could put whatever you want. I'm just typing this for the sake of the tutorial. I'm going to bold it, click these lines, click align text center. All right, you can make it a little bigger by clicking this here. Or you can go over here where it says preset size. You can make it normal. You can make it medium. You can make it large. And you could also adjust it a little bit more by changing the numbers here. So let's make it uh, 20, 25. Okay, then I'll click update. Go over here, click refresh. And there you go. Welcome to the cool church, the church that is on fire for God. All right, so, and there's this unbolted. I kind of like the unbolted better, so I'm going to go back, select this, and I'm going to unbold it, and then I'm going to click update. I kind of like that better. Let's go to our website. Let's click refresh. That looks cool. That's rocking. Okay. Now, what they have is three images. So how do you do that? What you want to do is you click, you know, after where it says God or the last word in your sentence. Or you could always go up here and click the blue plus. And then we're going to add columns. So go ahead and type in the word columns. And then select columns. And then it adds it. Okay, so you could either click the blue or you can click the plus that's over here. OK, so we want to add three columns. So go ahead and select the three columns and then click update. Get in the habit of updating, you know, always saving your stuff just in case your computer cuts out or, you know, you lose your page or you lose your power to your computer. It's you want to get in the habit of saving. So when you do come back, your stuff is saved. All right. So we're going to go ahead and add the first image. The way you do that is you click this plus because these are images. What these are are images. And once again, if you have a graphic designer, someone that's really good at graphic design, you can put whatever images you want. I just did these images basic in Photoshop, nothing fancy. I'm not a graphic designer. So I just took a basic image and put some wording on it. 
Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get those images from my website. The first image is live webcast. I'm going to click plus. I'm not, I'm not from my website. I'm going to get the images from my hard drive. Okay, so I'm going to click plus and then go to image. All right. And then I'm going to click upload. And then it's going to take me to my hard drive. So I want to go to my hard drive and I want to grab those images. There they are. So I'm going to double click live webcast and it's going to show up. Boom. Then I'm going to go over here, click the plus, click image, click upload, and double click church podcast. Then I'm going to go over here, click plus, click image, click upload, and double click small groups. And then I'm going to click update. Okay, let's go back over here. Let's click refresh. And there's the images. Now, if you notice, they're not centered. How do you center them? Click the image. See these lines here? Click the line and click align center. Click this image. Click the lines. Click align center. Click this image. Click the lines. Click align center. Click update. Let's go to our website and refresh. There you go. So this is our goal. Okay, and this is where we're at so far. We're getting there. We're getting there. All right. Now, if you notice on this website here, if I click this image, it you want it to take you to that page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up to where if you click these images, it's going to take you to that actual page, like live webcast, church podcast, <clears throat> excuse me, and then the small groups, <clears throat> small groups. So how do you do that? You want to click the image and see this little link here. You want to go to your website. There's two ways you can do it. One is you can right click on the actual page you want to get to in the menu and click copy link address. Another way you can do it is actually visit the page, go to the top, and select the URL. The way I'm going to do it is I'm just going to right click. It's right click is on the mouse. I'm not for sure. I mean, on the mouse, on the PC. I'm not for sure what it is on the Mac. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and right click, copy link address of the live webcast, click the image, click the link, and then drop that link right there in this box and click the arrow. I'm going to do the same thing with the church podcast. I'm going to right click on the church podcast. I'm going to right click, copy link address, go back, click the image, click the link, and then drop that link in that box and click the arrow. Then I'm going to go back, right click on small groups, copy link address, go back to the dashboard, click the image, click the link, and then drop it in the box there and click the arrow. Then I'm going to click update. So now here's the cool thing. When I refresh my website and say I click live webcast, it's going to take me to that page. That's cool. If I click podcast, it takes me to the page. They're empty pages because we haven't built them yet, but we'll get there. Small groups takes me to the small groups page. That's rocking. That's rocking. Okay, let's go back to homepage. Okay, next thing on this website is there's a little text underneath. I think that looks pretty cool. So the way you do that is you click in the box of the image and see the plus you just click that and you click paragraph it's going to give you an opportunity to start writing so you can say tune you can write whatever you want tune in to our live webcast and then we're going to say every oops sorry about that every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Okay. And then to center it, you could just highlight it. If you want it centered, you just highlight it. Click the click the lines and click align text center. Okay. And then here you click the plus, you can say paragraph, and then you can say check out our church podcast where we and once again, you could type whatever you want, where we 
discuss hot topics of today. Boom, put the period, and then you just highlight it. You know, or you, I don't even think you have to highlight it. Just click the box, click the lines, align text center. All right, if you want to add something to your small groups, click the plus, you click paragraph, and you can say, we invite you, we invite you to join us for one of our weekly small groups in an area near you. And you can type whatever you want, click in the box, click the lines, and you center it, and then you click update. Let's go ahead and refresh our site and see how it looks. All right, it's coming along, coming along nicely. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. So how do you add this? This could be like a nice welcome video to your first time guests, uh, a greeting from your pastor, a greeting from your uh, newcomers team, a greeting from your public relations, you know, and then when you click play, the cool thing is you play it and watch the video play. And it could be any video that you can upload to YouTube. So oh, there it is. It's playing right now. Boom. That's cool, huh? So it could be any video that you upload. I have the sound off. That's why you can't hear it. The sound is muted. So this could be any video. And YouTube is free. So you can make a greeting video, a welcoming video, upload it to YouTube, and put it on your website. Let me show you how to do that. Okay, so right now we're here. We want to add that video. So what you do is you go, you click the plus. Okay, and then we're going to type in the word cover. Okay, and you click that. What I want to do is click upload. And I already have some images. So I'm going to go grab an image. Okay. This is the image I'm going to use. If you have a graphic designer, you can use whatever image you want for the background. You can keep it plain. Uh, if you want to do plain, you just select one of these colors down here and it'll be plain, which you could do that. Let me just show you real quick. So if I say I selected orange, right? It'll be plain orange and that's fine. That's fine. And then, so if you hit refresh, instead of having an image, you'll just have an orange background, which is pretty cool. It's pretty cool, but I'm going to go ahead and put an image. Okay. So the way you do an image is, let me start over. Okay. So if you don't have an image right now, just use a color and you can still follow along with me. Okay. So let me go ahead and remove this. All right. So once again, I clicked plus and we click cover. And then I chose cover and I'm going to click upload. Okay. And I'm going to click an image. So let me go get my image from my hard drive. So images, boom, I'm going to grab that image there. Okay. And then I'm going to click update. Okay. So now once my image is done uploading, we're going to add a video and some typing. How do you do that? Okay. See right here. You have an opportunity to type, right? So what I want you to do is I want you to go plus and I want you to click, I want you to type in the word columns. Okay, and click the column. And then I want you to type, or click the two columns. So now you have two columns here. In this column, I want you to type, or uh, click the plus and then select paragraph. And then you can type whatever you want. Here is a, say we're gonna put a welcome video. Welcome video from our newcomers team. Say the newcomers team is giving a shout out saying, hey, welcome to our website. Enjoy yourself. Uh, make yourself at home. You could type as much as you want. You could just keep typing. Let me see. What else could I put? Here's a welcome video from our newcomers team. We are glad that you have stopped by our website. If you have any questions, please email us at Pastor Dre at PastorDre.com. That's my actual email. So if you do have any questions about the about the uh, webinar, you can email me. Okay, so say you put your church email, you're welcoming people to your website. Let's go ahead and click update. Now, to add a video, you click the plus and just type in the word video. YouTube's going to pop up. See that? So click that. Now, here's the cool thing. You can go to YouTube and grab any video you want of your own video. And that's, you know, and people also allow you to share their videos. 
if it's shareable then you don't have to worry about copyrights you can share any video on youtube that's embeddable okay but i recommend you to get your own video you can welcome people to your website you could have a, a video of your service like highlighting your services you could have updates you could put whatever video you like as long as you could upload it to youtube and youtube is free okay so let's go to youtube and grab a video so i'm going to go to youtube let me go to my youtube and let me see what video could i grab here let's grab this one let's grab this one so in order to grab the video you just click on the video click sh click the share click copy go back to your website and what you copied you want to paste right there okay so once again you're going to click copy i mean share copy and it's going to copy that code for you once you get that code you come back to where you added your youtube and you put that code right in this box and you click embed watch what happens there's your video then you click update this is so cool all right and then we're going to go ahead and refresh our website and let's see what happens there it is wow that's rocking so let's go ahead and close youtube okay so there it is nice little website got a little welcome video and you could type here whatever you want you can make it the type bigger bigger like if i click it highlight it and i click this little feature here i go to heading i can make it, i can bold it you see it can make it big as i want i could center it by clicking here i showed you how to do that you can center it isn't that cool and once again over here if you really want to narrow down the font size you could start you know you could adjust oops sorry about that let me i messed up there let me read undo that sorry about that one so let me go ahead and update so if you want to change the font size you could do that by going over here you know medium um large and if you really want to dial it in you could just change it by clicking the custom i like that right there 32 click update and then we're going to refresh there it is now if you want a plain background like i said you could do a plain background it, it still looks pretty cool nice thing right there see how that's moving like that that's cool if you want to add something like that i'll show you it's not really necessary because i think just this alone is pretty cool because if you have too much stuff i think it can get a little bit distracting but this is like a background video let me show you how to add that really quick okay so to add that i'm going to go to plus and i'm going to type in paragraph and i type in the word upcoming events okay then I'm going to highlight it and click bold. I'm going to center it by clicking align text center, clicking these lines. And then click this feature here, click heading. And I'm going to make it heading two. click the lines and click align text center, click update. Now, the way we add that, um, this video right here, which is pretty cool. I like it. All right. You're going to go to plus. I'm going to go to cover. See where it says upload? You can add a video. So whatever video you want to add, okay? Uh, let me see if I have a video here on my website. Let me see if I could grab one for you. Videos, here we go. So I could just grab that video and click it to upload it. And then it's going to upload the video for me. I click update. This is a video of me actually doing a webinar. So you can put whatever video you want. So I click update. And then the video plays in the background like that. That's not the best video to use, but that's how you do it. <laughs> okay, let me see if I can find a better video for you. Let me see. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this. And I'll show you how to do it again from scratch. So once I, once I added upcoming events through paragraph, I'm going to click the plus. I'm going to type in the word cover. And give me the option of cover and I click upload and then I just go pick a video from my uh, from my hard drive let me see if I could find a better one for you let me see 
Maybe if I go to downloads, let's see here. Okay, maybe I think this is the, no, that's not it. Let me see. I'm trying to find a better video for you. What is this one? I'm not for sure what this one is. Let's see what this one is. But I think you get the point. You could upload any video that you save to your hard drive and it'll upload to your to your website by selecting the cover, okay? So I'm gonna click update. I don't even know what video this is. Let's see. Okay, this is another live webinar one. <laughs> All right, so let me go ahead and click refresh. But I think you get the point. Whatever video you wanna put, you could put it right there, okay? I wish I could find the actual video for you, but I don't actually know where I stored it at. Let me look one more time. If not, we're gonna move on. Let me see, let me see if I could find it for you. Go to my downloads. Let's see. Boom. Uh, what is this one? Let me see if this is it. If not, then we'll move on. But I think you get the point. You can add pretty much add any video you want. And it looks pretty cool. You know, I mean, you got to you could even use this as uh, up here. You know, instead of having a still image, you can use that. You can use a video. You know, it depends on how you want to do it. So, oh, there it is. I found it. That's the video. Okay. So the one I just uploaded now is the actual one. So I'm going to click update. We're going to click refresh. And there you go. You can say upcoming events. You can have a video announcing worship concert coming up. Sunday morning service. And there's no sound because it's not like an actual playing video like this one. It's more like a background, which is pretty cool. So, And if you want to move this up, let me show you. Say you want this at the top of your website as your greeting instead of the still image. The way you move it up is you see these arrows over here? You can move anything up by clicking the arrow. See, I click the arrow, it moves up. So say I want that at the top. Say I want that to be first. I could click update, moved it to the top. I click update. So when I hit refresh, my video is going to be at the top. You could do it like that too. You could put it underneath. Like say you want it to be one down. Say you want the picture, then the video. Click update. And I go back to the site, click refresh. You could do it like that. So however you want to do it, you know. But I'm just giving you the basics. You run with it with your creativity. You take it to another level. So I'm going to take it back to the bottom. Okay, so I'm just going to click on here. Click the arrow. Bring it down to the bottom. Boom. Click it one more time. Boom. And click update. All right. Then I'm going to click refresh. And there is our home page. Uh, we reached our, oh, I got to take it down one more. I put it above upcoming events. So let me click it one more time. There we go. And we click update. Let's go ahead and refresh our existing website. And let's see what we got. There it is. Boom. Looking good. Welcome video. Boom. Upcoming events. That's rocking. And you've done all this for free. You know how much people pay to get a website that looks like this? People charge hundreds, if not thousands to get a website to look like this, and you've just built one for free. Now, let me show you how to add a live webcast page and a blog, and we're gonna add a few more pages and then we will be done, okay? So how do you add a live webcast page? Go back to your, go ahead and click this arrow, Go back to your dashboard, and I want you to click where it says Live Webcast. All you got to do to add a live webcast is it, when you're broadcasting from YouTube. Okay, so first we're going to type in tune in every Sunday morning to our live webcast. Uh, every Sunday morning, let's give them a time at 9 a.m. Tune in every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. to our live webcast. Let's fix it up a little bit. Let's bold it. Let's make it a little bigger. Let's put a heading on there. Boom. And we're going to click update. Now, what you want to do is we're going to go back to YouTube. Okay. So now, once you log into your YouTube, okay, say we're live. You have a live feed, say, on a Sunday morning. The way you set up a live feed, okay, is you want to go to where it says plus, then go live. That's what you want to click. Okay, and of course, you got to have your video uh, and all that hooked up to your laptop to be able to broadcast to YouTube. So say you got all that connected and you want to do a live stream 
from your laptop to YouTube. You just simply go to schedule stream. Okay. And we're going to click create new. And we're going to call this Sunday morning live feed. Okay. Boom. Okay. Then you keep it public. And then you go, uh, you put the time. So we're going to say Sunday, September 27th at 9 a.m. That's going to be the time of our service. You put whatever time your service is. Okay. This is so cool. You could do a live feed right on your website. This is this is good stuff. Okay, so I'm going to click 9 a.m. Is it for children? No. And then we're going to click create stream. Okay, so now YouTube is ready to broadcast live for me this coming Sunday at 9 a.m. And the name of my feed is Sunday morning live feed. You could call it whatever you want. Sunday morning worship service, Sunday morning celebration service, uh, Sunday morning uh, live webcast. Now, once you set this up, okay, I want you to click on the, the feed, go here where this arrow is at, and then I want you to click where it says copy. Click that. Go back to your website. You're on your live webcast page, right? I want you to click plus and then type in YouTube. It's going to give you the YouTube icon. What you just copied from here, this what you just copied, I want you to drop that right here. Control V on a PC. I'm not for sure what it is on a Mac. You paste it there. You click embed. Now watch what happens. There is your Sunday morning live feed. You click update. You go to your live webcast page by clicking live webcast. Isn't that cool? So now when you go live, you're going to show up on your website. So let me go ahead and close YouTube. Come on, tell me that's not rocking. Now, if you don't like this stuff on the side, let me show you how to get rid of that. I showed you at the beginning. I'll show you how to do it on this page also. You just go to your page. Okay, click on your page. Somewhere in the top, you know, you don't want to click on the box because it's going to give you the features for the box. So click at the top. And then you want to go down where it says, see where it says page, builder, container. Choose content, no sidebars. And then you click update. That's if you don't want these sidebars. Me, personally, I wouldn't really want that on a live webcast. I just want people to watch my service. So you click refresh, and all the bars will go away. You see that? So once again, you click on at the top. You click where it says um, sidebars and content, no sidebars. You select that, and you click update. And then when you refresh your page, it's going to give you a nice video that people could watch. And the cool thing is this. Let me show you a, a, a tip. Not too advanced, but this is cool. See this watch now button? We're going to connect that to our live webcast page. How do you do that? So when people click this button, they're going to go to our web, webcast page. The way you do that is you go back to your dashboard, click the arrow, go to your home page, click edit block editor, okay, on your home page. All right. Now, what's going to happen is our home page is going to show up. And see this button? I want you to select that button. Okay, then I want you to go to your website, right-click. Remember I told you how to get the links? Right-click, copy link address. Go back to your home page. Go back to the button. See this little link? Click that. Drop that link you just copied into this box right here and click the arrow. Okay, and then click update. Now, when I go back and I refresh my home page, when I click this button, watch where it takes me to. It takes me to the live webcast. That is so cool. So if somebody comes to your website, they want to watch your, your Sunday morning live webcast, they could click watch now. It takes them straight to your webcast. And that's rocking. And there's your Sunday morning service. And here, let me just add this in there. A lot of people may direct people to watch their services on YouTube and Facebook. You don't want to do that. You want to direct them to your website. The more traffic you get on your website, the better. The more uh, love Google's going to give you to rank higher in Google, that means more people are going to visit your website. And let me tell you, the reason you want to lead people to your website is you cannot put things on Facebook and uh, YouTube that you could put on your website. For example, if I'm watching your service on YouTube, there's no button to contact you. There's no button for your podcast. There's no button for your small groups. There's no button for your blog. And there's definitely no button to give. So you could add all this, like I could put right here, a give now button, and you could link it to your PayPal or whatever giving source that you use. But if you're watching on Facebook, 
it's a lot of distractions and you know and then to get them to give they have to leave facebook and so it's way better to direct people to watch your webcast on your website i like to look at it like this uh social media is good though i'm not saying don't use it but you want to use facebook and youtube to, to direct people to your website all right but a lot of people are broadcasting their services on social media which is great but i would prefer you to go from social media to my website so what i would do is put flyers on social media flyers on facebook flyers on youtube are you with me to say hey watch our service on our website www.theonfirechurch.com or whatever your website is so you want to use social media definitely tiktok facebook instagram youtube but try to get the people from the social media to your website rather than directing them from your website to social media okay because the more traffic you get on your website the better but social media is a great platform to reach out to people to evangelize but also try to get them to come to your website and you can look at it like this social media is borrowed property it's like rented property leased property but a website is property you own and you could do whatever you want say your social media account gets shut down then you have no website you're stuck but if your social media account gets shut down you can still broadcast on your website because that is your property okay so that's how you do a live webcast tell me that's not rocking come on somebody and then if you click here to go to live webcast it takes you there again and everything you've done so far has been done for absolutely free my goodness people pay a lot of money to get a website that looks like this i'm telling you All right, let's go ahead and set up a blog page. The way you set up a blog page, we're gonna click the arrow. All right, and then you, I want you to go to post and see where it says, hello world, just go ahead and trash that. And I want you to click add new. And we're gonna write our first blog. So I'm actually gonna title this, my church's first blog. You could title it whatever you want, my church's first blog and after you title it you just come down here you start typing hello everyone thank you for stopping by our blog and then you could do a testimony you could do an update you could do somebody's on the mission field god's moving you could do a praise report you could type whatever you want on your blog and let me give you another secret the more blogs you type the better because that gives you a more chance to rank higher in google and the higher you rank in google the more traffic you get to your website okay and basically it's like more people like if you have a building physically more people walking by your building it's a good chance to of join your church same thing with the website the more views you get in google the more chance people will join your website so a blog helps you to get more views in google so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to copy this text like say i've written a long blog of a say a praise report or testimony so i'm just going to paste this over and over and over it's just like i'm writing a paragraph okay paste it some more god is moving on the mission field boom you could do praise report update whatever you want to write about so just say i wrote about uh, a missionary's testimony okay of course i just pasted what i have but say you wrote a testimony you click publish okay and then what we're going to do is we're going to go where it says blog we're going to click there there's my church's first blog and if i want to read it i just click read more there it is that's rocking all right to add another blog say you got another uh, testimony or say you got an update that you want to update the church you just click add new and you could say the church gets a new building or whatever it may be or testimony of ex gang member ex drug addict you could say that you could say here or let me see read this powerful testimony then you put a testimony of someone who got changed here is a powerful testimony of young man that has been changed from a life of drug addiction by the power of God. 
and then you just start writing. Okay, so let's just say we, we're going to copy this and say we're writing, right? We're writing, boom, powerful testimony. God changed his life. Then you do another paragraph. God is on the move. God's using them. And then you click publish, click publish again. You go to your blog page and click refresh. And let me click refresh. Uh, did I update it? Let me see. Did I preview? Let me see here. Boom. Oh, I see. I see what I did. Okay. Let me go to the blog page, and there it is. I was actually on the blog. <laughs> I was. Re I was on this page. All right. So you're on your blog page, and there's your second test. Your, your second blog, and you can write as many blogs as you want. Why? Because this is your property. This is your website, and the more blogs you write, the better. All right, let's just do a small groups page. So let's go to our home page. All right, let's go here to our dashboard and let's click pages. And let's go to small groups. We're gonna edit with block editor. Now here, you could uh, list your Bible studies. You can list your small groups, however you wanna do it. So I'm gonna say name of the small group is the on fire small group. And I can say location. Uh, 123 Four Trekker Road, Goodwood Mall. And I could say contact, Brother on Fire. You can write whatever you want. I'm just making up stuff. Brother on Fire. Okay. Uh, phone. You know, if you they feel comfortable putting their phone number, or you could put your church phone number 061 407 9474. And then you can even put an email if they want to contact the life group leader, Pastor Dre at PastorDre.com. All right. And then there you go. You click update. And let's go to our small groups page. And there's a list of your small groups. And you could just duplicate that. And here's another cool thing you could do. Like if I click here and I click this, I'm, I'm, I'm going to click the plus. Then I want to click columns. Okay. And I want to do three columns. So what you could do is you could put all your information in three columns. So say I copy this, right? So I want to copy that. All right. Right. And I come here and I click paragraph and then I paste that. And I could click here, do paragraph, paste that. Click here, do paragraph and paste that. So now you have it lined up where you have three of your small groups going across your website. There you go. So you can list all your small groups, you know, and of course this information would change. Like this could be the basket weaving group, <laughs> basket weaving small group. Okay, this one could be the exercise. Maybe there's a group that exercises, you know, the workout small group, exercise. How do you spell exercise? Exercise? I don't even know how to spell exercise. Let's see here. Let me get a little help here. Exercise. There we go. All right. Click update. So then you click refresh. There you go. And you could just do that as many times as small groups as you have. Right? All right. And you can even bold the name to make it stand out. So you highlight, click the B. Highlight, click the B. Let me see. Boom. You highlight and you click the B, boom, click update, and let's go ahead and refresh the page. Let's see how that looks. Pretty cool, huh? So you list, and you could do pictures, you could do images, maybe people worshiping at the small group. You could put that in here too. And to add an image, you just come down here. You can click the plus, and you just click, you can add an image. So you could say, let's say, let me do one for you real quick. Uh, say I want to add an image, right? So I'm going to go here. Uh, let me get me an image. Um, let's say we want this image here. Let's say we wanted to use this one, right? So then I could take this to the top up here, right? And then say it's a picture of someone sitting at a Bible study. I'm just using this image just to show you what you could do. So say that's an image of someone sitting at a Bible study. And you're telling people, hey, join our small groups. So then the cool thing is they actually see an image of someone reading a Bible, 
you know, uh, at, a, at a house or a small group. So there's so much you can do. And the image is taking a little while to load because it's a huge image, which I wouldn't use, but I'm just using it for the sake of this tutorial. All right. So let me see if it's uploaded. It's taking a little while. It is a huge image. Oh, there you go. All right. So there you go. You say small groups, someone sitting at a house in a Bible study. And there you go. There's a list of your small groups. All right. Let's do the next one. now let's do our podcast and contact us and then we'll be done all right to do a podcast what you want to do is you want to go to edit block editor okay and you could uh this is going to take you you want to click your podcast page and you say welcome to our podcast whatever you want to type now in order to have a podcast you need to have a podcast service now, I do have a podcast, which is on Spreaker.com, but you can get a free podcast. I think like Podbean, Anchor, there's people that offer free podcasts. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and log into my podcast. And I'm going to show you what you need to get. Once you set up your podcast, you're going to need to get what's called your RSS feed. Okay, so here's my podcast. I'm going to go ahead and log into my dashboard. So once you set up your podcast, say with Podbean, Anchor, whoever you have a podcast with, they're going to give you an RSS feed. So here's my podcast, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my RSS link. So see where it says RSS feed? I'm going to click that. Then I'm going to go here and I'm going to grab this RSS. I'm going to grab that URL right there. Boom. That's what I'm going to do. Another way you could do it is if I click view edit. It tells me here RSS link, and I can click that. So then what you want to do is once you get your RSS feed of your podcast, you want to click plus and type in the word RSS and click that. See how it gives you a box? You want to put your feed right in there, and you click use URL. And what happens is your podcast is going to show up automatically. Now tell me that's not cool. And of course, you could type some more stuff here. You could put another image, like if you want to put an image of someone preaching, you know, a nice, cool little image to let people know that this is your church's podcast. You can do that too. I'm just going to keep it simple for you. So I click update and then I go to our podcast page and there's our podcast. So they can, and it automatically updates. That's what an RSS feed does. So you can see this is our latest version right here, September 23rd. So when I add another podcast here, it's going to automatically update on my website. Isn't that cool? So maybe a nice little image right here would be good. And then you're set. Your podcast is good to go. Isn't that rocking? So now you got a website that has a home page, a live webcast page, a blog page, a small groups page, and a podcast page all for free. My goodness. How do you add a contact us and then we'll be done? The way you add a contact us page is let's go. Let me update. Make sure it's updated. <laughs> Hit the back arrow and go to where it says contact us. Click edit with block editor. Now, there's a place that gives you free contact forms. Also, Google gives you contact forms, but I use a place called JotForm. So I'm going to go ahead and go to JotForm.com. Okay. And they have a free version. You get like five forms for free. And it's so simple. Okay, you can, let me show you the pricing really quick. Here's the pricing. You get free. It is limited, but it's free. If you want to pay, you can. I believe Google also offers Google Forms. You can use Google Forms. All right, so let me go ahead and log in. I'm going to log into my account. And I'm going to show you how to make a form. So I'm going to go to my forms. Once you set up your free account, you're going to get a page that looks like this. You won't have all these forms. You'll probably be empty, so you have to click, click Create Form. Once you create your form, you're going to get a page that looks like this. I mean, yours will be empty, right? So it's going to be a page that looks like this, Create Form. All you have to do is whatever you want on your form, you click and drag. If I want full name, I drag it and drop it. There it is. 
Okay, I'm going to delete it because I already have name. If I want to collect an email, I click, drag, drop. It'll collect emails. If I want to collect the phone number, click, drag, and drop. Now, how did you hear about us? That's a multiple choice. So what I did is I just clicked and dragged, and then I wrote the question. How did you hear about us? And then I just put the options. Here I wrote flyer, webcast, I mean, uh, you know, website, uh, however, radio, whatever your options are. You could type friend. Okay, let me just show you a few real quick. You could type radio. You could type uh, flyer. Okay, and then when you click update, it's going to show up like it did right here. I'm going to delete it because I already have one on here. All right. So like I said, you choose what you want. You click, drag, and drop it. So I'm just going to keep it basic with the contact form, name, email, phone number. How did you hear about us? All right. Then once you decide what you want, you go to publish. Let me get some water real quick. Okay. Now, once you go to publish, see where it says embed? You click there. See where it says script, copy code? See that? Click copy code. Now, I want you to go back to your website. You're on your contact us page. So what I want you to do is click this plus and type in HTML. Okay, click that. And then I want you to paste that code right here in this box where it says write HTML. Paste it there. Control V on the PC, not for sure what it is on a Mac. Then you're going to click update. Okay, now here's the cool thing. When I go to my website and I click contact us, watch what happens. There's the form. And the cool thing about job form is when you set up your account, you put your email address. This form will be automatically sent to your email address. So when they fill out name, email, phone number, how'd you hear about us? You're gonna get an email with their information. Isn't that cool? And now you have a contact us form on your website. And that's how you build a nice, modern, six-page website for free. You could send me an email, Pastor Dre at PastorDre.com. Let me go right here so you can see the email. Let me go to the, where did I put my email at? I think it was, was it the homepage? Yeah, I think it was the homepage. So let me do it so you can actually see it. There it is right there. If you want to send me an email, send an email to Pastor Dre at PastorDre.com. This is how you build a nice, modern six-page website for your church, for your ministry. You could even use it for your business. You got a homepage. You have a live webcast. You have a blog. You have a small groups page. You have a podcast page. That's rocking. Come on, somebody. And you have a contact us page. If you don't have a website for your church, now's your time to get one. I just showed you how to build one for absolutely free. Everything we did in this webinar was for free. I'm getting ready to log out. Thank you for tuning in. Once again, if you have any questions, hit me up, Pastor Dre at PastorDre.com. It's your boy, Pastor Dre. God bless you.